So if we read through this kind of little tiny paragraph here, Brookstone Network Consulting provided some estimates of probable expenditures resulting from the wireless site survey. These figures are presented in the following table. Where's the table, you might add? Well, we have to build it. Uh, and so this isn't terribly taxing. Uh, this is actually, you know, one of the one times we go into our insert tab. And you notice inside the insert tab, right below my cursor, we have this table button insert a table. Now, if hopefully you've taken a look at the what is a table video. So when I select this, you'll see that I get this grid-like structure that allows for me to uh, spread this out. Now, in my case, I'm going to say, all right, well, let's just expand that out so that it's a, you know, a three by th uh, two by three table, two by three table. And you see, as I draw that out, I get all of a sudden this portion here. I get two columns, three rows, and everywhere in there is a cell. So let's say, for example, I want to create my headings for this. Again, we're talking about probable expenditures. So we're saying, you know, okay, the first thing will be the item. The second thing is probably going to be talking about the material costs. Costs. Now, one thing to take note of is when I'm working inside of a table, I can use my candy dandy keyboard again. And if I hit the tab button, here's the tab button. It's the, where are you? It's right here by the one, right there by the Q. If I hit that tab button, it goes to the next available slot. It goes to the next available cursor. And so, all right, well, we're dealing with uh, Wi-Fi. Basically, it looks like we're, we're doing a site survey to see how well the Wi-Fi networks talk about. So we'll say that we'll build uh, some routers. And router, you know, if you go to Best Buy, a router's not that expensive. We'll go ahead and say that, you know, they buy three routers because it's, a, it's an art place. So $150. Then we go, all right, well, not only do we have routers, but we also are going to need something called a switch. Now, a switch, what a switch is, just off, off of you guys as, uh, who aren't really privy to networking, you know, you're only here, you know, just to understand how to use Word. A switch is what allows for me to have multiple computers plug in to my router, uh, my, my, com my network connection, you know. Uh, this is actually what kind of does that. And switches aren't terribly expensive. So, you know, let's say they have one in the back closet you know, by itself. It's a $50 thing, you know, not, not terribly uh, expensive. But we do that so that we have uh, this ability uh, to have multiple things plugged in. Say, for example, uh, if you're at home, you know, are you on Wi-Fi or are you plugged in? Most people might be on Wi-Fi, but this computer right here, the one I'm working on and everything, it's plugged in via the Ethernet. Now, I don't have my cable, I don't have a cable router uh, in my office. I go snake through, I find a little uh, hole in the wall inside of the uh, building I'm in right now, and it connects to a switch. And then that's where my data goes. So again, all right, well, I want to continue to expand on this option a little bit more because any of you who've ever done sort of uh, this kind of uh, surveying uh, work, even if it's not been IT, maybe you've done manual labor, we've got the item, we've got the material costs, but there's something we're missing. And it's normally where the money comes in. If you've ever had your car worked on, you know what I'm talking about. That's right. We need labor costs. That's how we make the money. Uh, and so how do I how do I add that in? I, I've already made two columns. Ah, well, what I can do is over here. Notice how all of a sudden I've got these table tools tabs that have appeared inside of Microsoft Word. Now, this what is what allows me to start to manipulate out Microsoft Word inside layout, you'll notice that I have insert above, below, left, and to the right. If I select insert to the right, wherever my cursor is, it will insert a column to the right of that. And so I can add in all of a sudden my labor costs. And in this case, all right, well, like I said, this is where they got you. 
but this is also because they know how to do the the crazy computer stuff you know whatever you, you computer kids these days with the internets and the YouTubes and the yik yaks so you know we charge five hundred dollars to install the routers it's just like Time Warner all they had to do was you know screw in the uh, coax cable but they had to have their technician do it same kind of thing it's a hundred and twenty five dollars or two hundred $250 uh, to get them to build that switch inside. So again, we can start to play. Now, what happens if I want to add something in? You know, I'm, I'm this company here and uh, I see that they're gonna pay us a lot of money. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, maybe why not? Here, we're, we're just gonna give you some repeaters they're uh they're antennas and you know they, they they make sure that the signal gets boosted a little bit the rssis are uh, lower you, you need lower rssi if you're if you've never heard of rssi don't worry but we'll go ahead and say that those things are like 25 dollars a pop they're not that big uh, not that expensive but uh well you know what we'll just say that to install them aka screw them on it's literally going to just cost you another 150 dollars that's how you make money, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on the wrong field.